A frictionless surface makes an angle of 28 degrees with the horizontal. Okay, there's our surface. It's frictionless and makes an angle of 28 degrees. Calculate the constant force that has to be applied to the surface in order to cause a container of 26 kilograms. Is our container of 26 kilograms to accelerate 1.1 meters per second up the incline. Okay, so now something is forcing this thing up the incline and accelerating actually at 1.1 meters per second. Now if there is acceleration we know that the resultant force on there the resultant force is equal to the mass times that acceleration. So we can very easily go and calculate the resultant force that is um, causing it to accelerate upwards. Okay, But that's not the applied force. The resultant force is the vector sum of all the forces including the applied force. So we will have to go and look at all the forces involved here. So we have our slanted surface. We have our 26 kilograms right here. Let's go and look at all the forces acting on this object. Well we know that we have weight, we have the normal force, and then we have an applied force. In this case they tell us it's up the incline. So this is the force that is applied. And when we add all three of these objects we find that there is a resultant force, a resultant force that is up the incline. And in order to calculate that resultant force, we are going to have to calculate, sorry, to, in order to um, calculate the applied force, we are going to have to calculate the other three. Why? Well, we know that the resultant force is equal to the applied force and this is obviously vector addition applied force plus the weight plus the normal force okay which means that our applied force is equal to our resultant force minus the weight plus the normal force now we also remember that our weight can be divided into two components and the one component will cancel sorry that should be a negative uh, this should be a negative I'm subtracting the normal force but the weight can be um, divided into two components and the one component will cancel normal force anyway so weight can be um, can be divided into the component that's perpendicular plus the component that is parallel to the surface so now what we have is that this component, the one that's perpendicular to the surface, will cancel with that component. So that we simply have that the force that is being applied is equal to the resultant force. But we know how to calculate the resultant force. It's simply mass times acceleration, okay, minus, and the only thing that's left here that did not cancel each other out is the weight that is perpendicular to the surface. Okay, but how do we calculate the weight that is parallel to the surface? Well, so we know this is mass times acceleration minus weight that is parallel to the surface. Okay, if we go back to our sketch, we have the weight perpendicular, the weight that is parallel, that's the weight that is parallel to the surface. And I've done it now a few times, that's 28 degrees. This is the opposite side, which means I'm using sine. And it comes down to W sine of theta, because sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So W perpendicular is uh, W sine of theta. And there's a formula for this applied force. Okay, the force that is being applied. Now let's substitute to get the answer. Okay, the mass is 26 kilograms. The acceleration is 1,1 meters per second. The weight was 26. Okay, or weight is mass times gravity, so uh, that's 26. 26 times and 
Um, is it 9.8 or negative 9.8? Well, notice here they say let upwards be positive. So we'll use negative 9,8. Okay. Sine of 28 degrees. Okay, now let's calculate that. We have 26 times 1.1 minus 26 times 9.8 with a negative times 28 sine. What do we get? We get 148,22 newtons. Okay, and what is the direction of this applied force? The direction is up the incline. Up the incline because it's accelerating up the incline. Okay, now let's go and fill this out according to the conditions they give us. So first we must calculate the net force. That's what we did as well. We noticed that the net force exists because it's accelerating up the incline. To calculate the net force we use this formula. Net force is mass times acceleration. We know the mass was 26. We know acceleration was 1.1 and in here ignoring deltas and subscripts in these steps but not in written work okay so we're not going to type F net we're simply going to type F because we must ignore deltas and subscripts is equal to mass times acceleration 26 times 1.1 preview there we go that's fine what was the resultant force 26 times 1.1 gives us 28.6 so the resultant force was what is 28.6 28.6 newtons preview that looks good okay next up now let us find the applied force cool we've already found it but let's do it according to the um, conditions that they give us here they tell us let T be the applied force write down a formula for T using the net force and the weight and the angle the surface makes with the horizontal. In other words, here, this was our formula. We didn't use T, we use F applied, okay? And that's just substituted with a T, is equal to, and here you see mass times acceleration. That is the, apply, the, the net force here. So that is F net minus W sine. So this is what we must go and put in as a formula there that F, which is now the net force, it should be F minus the weight, which is lowercase w, sine of theta, which is what they say we should use for the surface, the angle of the surface. Okay, preview. Let's see, syntax is okay, excellent. That looks exactly right. Okay, after substituting, we've already calculated. There is our 28.6 that's our F minus W we had to calculate as W was 26 times negative 9.8 and that is multiplied by sine of 28 so I'm doing this step okay already calculating that times sine of 28 is that right that looks right to me and finally when we got our answer we got 148 148 comma 22 newtons oh, we must use a point in the calc in the computer so preview that looks good so the applied force is therefore 148.22 newtons parallel is it up or down the slope we said it was parallel up the incline or the slope cool